Hello, bienvenido, buenas tardes. Ahora estamos en la clase de español. So I'm going to introduce myself. So voy a presentarme a ustedes. And I'm going to say a lot of it in Spanish. So even though you might not know any Spanish yet, I want you to do your best, try to understand what it is that is up on the um, PowerPoint. So, entiendo español, so that means can I understand Spanish? So, enseño cuatro clases este año, español nivel 1 y 2, económicas y gobierno, los intervenciones de matemáticas y inglés, en psicología. So, are there any words that you think that you know up here? Uh, what, muy bien, what does that mean? Huh? What do you think Espanol nivel uno y dos means? Si, <laughs> muy bien, good. Raquel? Um, government, si, sí, muy bien. Matemáticas, que significa, what do you think? Psicología, sí, es psychology, matemáticas, math, and English. Sí, muy bien. Sí, mi vida. Mi esposo es John Barry. Some of you may know him. Mi familia es de Michigan. Mi perro se llama Jane. Y soy la entrenadora de voleibol. ¿Qué palabras se saben? What ones do you know? Y qué más? I teach, I coach volleyball. Sí, I coach volleyball. ¿Qué más? Sí, muy bien. What do you think se llama means? Name. Name. Sí, muy bien. Good. So, mis actividades favoritas, cocinar, ejercitar, leer, viajar y aprender. Alguien? palabras que reconigen cocinar, sí, to cook, ¿qué más? To read, to learn, sí, muy bien. Viajar is in the next one too. Mis vacaciones he viajado a México, Costa Rica, España y Canadá. So, ¿qué significa viajar? To travel, good, I've traveled to all of these places. Y el avión, ¿qué significa? The plane. Muy bien. Good. So, mi personalidad es independiente, independiente, responsable, relativa y divertida. So, what do you think some of those words are? Yeah, good. Relatable, good. Divertida. Kind of like unique, fun, etc. Okay, so if you were to actually be in this class, what I have given you on the tables, that is kind of like the spectrum that I would look at for various things. So you're in here to learn very basic Spanish. So this would be Spanish 1. So what you're able to do is kind of on this. So we would be looking at the third, el tercer, and the fourth column, like mid-novice, novice high. So, you'll be able to get the main ideas, some of the details when reading things. What I tell the students usually is you are like a baby, like brand new baby, so you don't know any Spanish yet, and so it's really kind of difficult to have a 17-year-old mind, but a one-year-old equivalent to Spanish. So don't get discouraged. And this is what our goal would be for the end of the year. 
So you would be able to know things like class schedules, personal profiles, menus, invitations, headlines, picture, captions, and other short passages. So hopefully to the level of maybe a six-year-old. So that's kind of the goal if you were to think that. So that's kind of what the class will be. So now, vamos a hablar un poquito las frases. So if you would flip the page, la página siguiente, hay tres frases españoles. So in este clase, van a hablar todo el tiempo las clases suertes en español. Okay, so I would want you to speak these all the time to me from the very first day of school. So we are going to go through them. So, por favor, repeat them. So when I say it, I would like you to say it. Si, ¿Sí? entiendes? Bueno, repeat it. Levanten la mano. Levanten la mano. Muy bien, raise your hand. Número dos, necesito. Necesito. So that would be like, I need something. Número tres, tengo. Tengo. I have something. Número cuatro, puedo ir al baño. Puedo ir al baño. Chica, dime in English. Anicia, puedo ir al baño, ¿qué significa? <laughs> si, si quieres, necesitas, if you have to go, you can go. It's fine. <laughs> I heard you earlier. <laughs> si, número cinco, quiero. Quiero. That would be I want. So if you want something for me, that's what you would say. Número seis, aquí. Aquí. Here. Número siete, tengo una pregunta. Tengo una pregunta. So that would be like I have a question. Número ocho, no entiendo. No, no entiendo. entiendo. That would be I don't understand what you are saying. Número nueve, ayúdame, por favor. Ayúdame, por favor. Muy bien, good accent, though. Good accent over there. Número diez, ¿dónde está? ¿Dónde está? So that means, where is? Número once, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se dice? That would be, how do you say? Número doce, repita, por favor. Repita, por favor. So that would be, repeat, please. Y número trece, I. Okay. That would be, is there or are there? So, vamos a practicar las frases ahora. So, we are going to practice these now. So, la página siguiente es un carta de lotería. So, in Spanish, oh, we have something, instead of bingo, we call it lotería. So, what I would like you to do to practice your phrases is you are going to get up, Go around the room and find somebody that you're going to say to them, Jeanette, aquí. ¿Cómo se dice aquí? What does aquí mean? ¿Recuerdes? Si no puede recordar, then I go to the next person. James, aquí, ¿qué significa? What does that mean? Hello, <laughs> cerca, no? Raquel, aquí? Yeah. Here, muy bien, so I would write R-S, R-A-S, that's Raquel's. Okay, so please, por favor, go around and see if you can get them all filled by someone who knows what it is. So you can go around and do this in pairs, but everybody has to be talking. If you don't have something to write with, since I didn't prepare you accurately at the moment, you can go ahead and grab something up here. But between you and your partner, have one of you have some type of writing utensil. Okay, so, levantate, stand up, and go ahead and go around. Más fuerte, de la uh, hold on. I don't know. Oh, is there a 
What's your feet up on the You don't have to be a Yeah, it's like this. Tango is. Tango is I have. In Spanish, I So that one is like. I have, like, I have to do. Hold on. I know you say? She knows it. She's gonna read it. Tango. I have. I I I use me. Por favor. No Nintendo. No Nintendo. What's como se dice? Como se dice? I don't attend. Do you know what? Well, I'm not a are you doing me, for favor? You know what? No one was there. Help, please. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look. I forgot. I want. James. Terrence! No, I'm saying though. Yeah, I said that. I don't understand. Miss. I don't understand. Bingo. James. What is this? What's the last one? Lily. 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 The last one the bottom. Yes. 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 Tell me what you know. Raise your hand. Love it. Love it. Love it. 
Jeans. Necesito. Chica, what is Puedo ir al baño? Puedo ir al baño. What is. I can't pronounce the word you just said, but. Tengo una pregunta. ¿Cómo te dais? So, which one is the easiest to remember? Puedo ir al baño. Por qué? Why? Does it change the colors? I can't. No puedo oírte. I can't hear you. Okay. Why is puedo ir al baño probably the most easiest one to remember? Because everybody asks it all the time. El tamaño es grande. It's the biggest on the board. Right? Which ones did you have trouble on? Which one did you get asked a lot that you could never remember? Levanta la mano. Sí. Raise your hand. Dime. Tengo una pregunta. Sí. So the more you would be in the class, the more you would hear it, and then the easier it would become. So if we were going to do a whole class period, I would have you go through this whole thing. But we're not doing a whole class period today, so I would like to end with this one video clip. So many people know how to speak a different language. And even if you can't do it 100%, even I can't do it 100%, um, it really opens up a lot of opportunity for you in the future, and it really helps you get an acceptance of other cultures. And so I'm going to show you just a really quick one minute video clip about different celebrities that can speak different languages. So they're not all Spanish. Spanish is not the only language that there is. So if you were to take this class and not like it, there are other opportunities for you as well. So just like anything else, you want to practice, practice, practice because it's a skill. So if you were in here all the time, I'd be showing you video clips, we'd be speaking in Spanish, I would show you movies, listening to songs, various different things. Este es el sueño americano. Mira, mi español es perfecto, mira mi cara. Mi español es muy bonita, ¿no? Y mi acento es perfecto. Wow. J'ai uh, 36 ans maintenant uh, et je sais qui est important pour moi dans ma vie uh, et si j'étais jeune, plus jeune, peut-être ça va être plus difficile. No sé por qué, no sé por qué, no sé dónde he iniciado, no tengo cualquier idea. Pero la cosa que debo hacer prima de ogni tiro libro, debo hacer con tú. ¿Qué es lo que se escucha para mí? Lo más bien que no se escucha de ser, ni que no se escucha de ser. En el caso, 
sean ricos o pobres. Este es el sueño americano. Te pido tu voto. Ach, Mensch, bin ich nervös, weil da drüben auf dem Boden liegt meine Sprache. Okay, ähm, in was für großartigen Zeiten wir leben, weil... My favorite thing. Ma meine Oma ist von uh, ein, ein kleiner Stadt, uh, uh, zwei Stunden weg von Düsseldorf. Nein, das ist So, muchas gracias para tu participar. Thank you very much for participating. Y repite, por favor, hasta mañana. Repite, hasta mañana. Hasta mañana. Muy bien. So, that's...